What is up guys, Bob Guy here playing some jank. We just do it in the uh practice lobby because this one is this one is really janky. It is Sahili Sundial in modern. Um if I got one more land the thing is I'm not doing anything early. If I got to three I could a chroma. And then Cloud Shift it the turn after. I could also mold drifter for more. You know what, I'm gonna keep it and try. I this might be a mulligan, this is borderline, but it's a janky deck. So I got some good things going on. We'll see how fast my opponent is. I I run a fair number of lands, not a huge, pretty pretty typical number of lands, 22, which is like non-aggro, pretty typical. Maybe I should even run a few more, but the card has a lot the deck has a lot of card draw. But yeah, any of my low drops or another land would be pretty good here. Turn two. Uh oh. Wooded Foothill. Usually that means something aggressive. Breaks it. Actually, it could mean, uh, you know, Birds of Paradise style creature value deck. And in fact, with green white, that's probably what it is, more likely than not. When I see it, I immediately think Naya Burn or something, but this does not appear to be. Oh, no, it is. It's some kind of Naya Zoo deck. Okay, well, I'm not doing anything at two mana other than just playing a land and then passing doesn't feel good but it's all right at least i got my third land which is good i could use some colors other than what i have but it's all right breaks a bloodstained mire blood crypt he uses a lot of colors maybe he's five colors you Gets in for three. Wouldn't be surprised if he has a lot of removal. Could he be Death Shadow Zoo, maybe? That used to be a thing that used to run the coddles. Not as much anymore, but I can st st see it still being a thing. No, he is the Tribal Flames, so he's five color zoo, is, is the idea. All right. Um, yeah, my draw is just pretty slow against the zoo deck. I think I face down in a chroma, see if he wants to kill it. I'll gladly take the three from Nicotle here if it means I get to flip my um, Akuma. I'd like to do that with one more mana out, um, but obviously I don't have that choice. Okay, Goblin Guide swings in with both. I take five. Look your Wisp, all right. Well, let's take, go to eight. He has four cards in hand. I'm not betting I'm going to survive, but... Um, Flicker Wisp. Uh... Yeah, I mean, I think I Flicker Wisp here. Try to try to blink my guy. If he has Path Form, that's going to suck, but that's just the way it goes. I guess I should have attacked with him first, but whatever. Yeah, there's, there's no world in which I shouldn't have attacked with him first. Well, yeah, there is one world, which is he, which is the... Uh, the world where he's Death Shadow and wants to get down to Death Shadow, and I take him to twelve, but but I guess maybe he's not. Okay, I have pro blue and white. He's at five cards still. I really want to top deck a land, then Mold Drifter, Cloud Shift, Mold Drifter, or something like that. Not that that's even that good, but I could also keep up Glorious End if I think I can. Depending, it depends a lot what he does here. He has his member for my Flicker Wisp. That's all right. He goes to 10. He swings in. A sundial enters the revealed zone. Go to block. Um. So if he has like giant growth style effects, it could be incorrect to block wild in the coddle. I think I block it anyway. I mean, whatever. Okay, he gets in for six. That seems okay. I go to two. Maybe he has bolt in hand. Okay, well, I'm gonna attack in. We'll see what happens. Uh, 
All right. Glorious end. Swing in. I think we got it. Good game. Wow. That one, that one was a little crazy. That one was a little crazy, but I'll take it. It's hard for me to know what's good against this deck. It's a lot of creatures. I could see going down a Felidar Guardian just because it's a little slow against an aggro deck. But I don't know what I would go up instead. It's like the things I would go up are also pretty slow. Like Oblivion Ring is like, oh, it's a turn faster, but it doesn't really matter. So I think I'm just going to run it back. I, I just don't think I'm well set up to beat a Zoo aggro deck. But Domain Zoo is what we're up against. Two blue mana. No, no, a blue and a white. Blue and a white. Um, I mean, I think I got to keep. I'm not liking my chances here. It's a very slow hand, and I literally right now cannot cast anything. I need to top deck um, more land, uh, specifically a white or a blue to have a turn three play. I, I mean, I can play one thing in my hand, which is Sundial, but Sundial is not good without Flicker Wisp. But I do have the instant win combo if he just taps out, and I, I need to manage this not to kill me by turn four, which is definitely possible. Oh, he has no play with it. Interesting. Uh, Aether Hub is incredibly good. That means I get to... My fate is kind of in my hand. Uh, this turn, I'm just going to lead off with, with planes and pass. But I get to decide what I want to do turn three now, whether I want to Flicker Wisp or Sahili Rai. Flick, uh, Sahili Rai is almost definitely correct, but it does it depends a lot on whether he plays out creatures. I am wondering if he runs Death Shadow or something. Sacred Foundry untapped as well. Goblin Guide in... Please flip me a land. I could really use a land. He does swing in. Thraven Inspector. Well, hmm. Do I play that next turn? It actually might be better than Sundial right now. Not that either are particularly good, but... I think if he wants to kill it, that's okay. Because we want to put down Sahili Rai and have her live, I don't think it's down to 12. You can go down to 9 here. Take the hit. Wall of Omens. It's not bad either. I'm just not drawing lands though. I could Wall of Omens next turn if I want. Termogoyf, sure, as a 2-3. Well, Wall of Omens does feel pretty good against that. I mean, maybe I should have waited here until I Wall of Omens. Yeah, let's play down Wall of Omens. Well, that's good to know. I'm going to pass turn here. I could really use one more land. Maybe I should be going for the combo more aggressively. I don't know. Okay. Another three been Inspector. Not exactly what I would call the best. Go to blocks, let's block here, take two. Gonna either pump him or kill my guy, I would assume. Oh, he makes that guy huge, so it's 7-7, seven, seven. all right. Tribal Flames my face, I go to four. If he has another Tribal Flames in hand, I think he wins. Oh, and do. Red, blue, blah, Sahili. Plus Sahili, Scry 1. Be a land, be a land, be a land. Bottom. Alright. Well, I need a land. Let's see what he has. Okay, swings with both. What do I get? Oh my god. I'll go to block. I run a lot of land, so that's a little disappointing. Okay. And obviously if he has tribal flames, he wins. Maybe just another creature. Okay, another Tarmogoyf, sure. Pass his turn. I draw. Chroma, I knew that. So what are my choices? Um, 
I don't have white mana from this anymore. But I oh, I would need it if I want to keep. So I could Sundial, make a copy of Wall, end turn before my Wall gets exiled. I could also Thraben Inspector, play down Sundial. Um, I could also, well, that would let me plus here. But the Wall just gives me a free draw. I could also just Thraben Inspector, leave up Clue. Doesn't none of these give me enough blockers? It's the only problem I'm seeing here. I mean, I think that's better. Okay, go to five, scry one, bottom. I'm gonna get two draws, probably. I mean, I honestly, he very well might just have a kill spell here, either the pump or the burn spell, in which case I just lose. Okay, well, I'm going to block the two that I can block. It's going to attack all, obviously. They're all coming at me, I assume. Okay, slate of hand, all right. Whatever, I'll just break the clue. Nothing else I can actually do anyway. Block, block. Well, I got enough draws at it, right? I'm betting he has the pump here. He does. All right, good game. Um, yeah, good game. I'll go first. A lot of land, no white. I do have the combo in hand. I think I keep. God, this is so bad, though. I probably should I don't know. This is really... White is by, like, over half my mana, so this is really un unlikely. I run two of these and one of these, so... Yeah, this is a super unlikely hand, but what you gonna do? Not a lot. Red mana, pass. Maybe I should have mulliganed it. It's just I have the combo in hand, and, you know, that, that means if I just draw white mana, it could be I turn four or turn five, just have the win in play. So a little hard to, to pass that up. And now I this game I at least have four mana, which I couldn't get to in the last game. Goblin Guide. Give me free lands, please. Nope, got a sleight of hand coming up. It's actually a pretty good turn two play for me since I need the. I need either the mana or. Well, sleight of hand. I mean, I'm not probably playing Sahelia this next turn anyway, so I guess I get another sleight of hand. And maybe that'll get me something I need. I, mean, I think I'm just going to lose here. Man, now I wish I had played this turn one because this uh, red mana is not very good. I should have known not to play red mana turn one just because I don't have many red spells and I have a bunch of blue. Um. But I only run three sleight of hand, so I wasn't expecting to see two of them. Okay. I could have grabbed the Aether Hub. It's possible I will regret that. Swings in. Oh, I did get a white mana. That's very good. Get another white mana. All right. Okay, he takes me to 10. Man, a lot of lands. Um, well, I have white mana now. I could Sahili Rai. I don't think it's very good on an empty board. I think I'm going to sleight of hand hoping to hit a blocker, which I did get. So I'll three an inspector. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't think I actually block this turn because I want to block... When I have Sahili up, probably. Oh, now I have to block, I think, because if he has the pump, he just wins. He might just win anyway. Hmm. After after game one and game two, this is a super unfortunate way to lose, but that's the problem with budget decks, is you have wonky mana bases. If I had a good mana base, I would have won this game, but I would have at least had a chance to win this game. Okay, he gets in. Wall of Omens on top. All right. One, two, three, four. One, two. He doesn't have black, so I think I just take here because he can't have enough to kill me. Okay, he makes it big, but only to the tune of eight. So 
now I have to block them both next turn, and if he has a burn spell, I lose. I guess now if he just has lightning bolts or some other burn spell, I also lose. It looks like he does. He has tribal flames. All right, I mean, good game. That was a good draw from him. Uh, we should have won game two, but we got super unlucky with our land, and then game three, I probably should have mulliganed. That was probably my fault there, uh, but eh, it's going to happen. Our deck's a little janky. I was pretty happy to take game one. His deck's a little janky too, but it's running some significantly better cards. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Hey guys, Bobgar here. I just really wanted to quickly say, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you enjoy my content in general and would like to see more of it, subscribe. I'll be coming out with more content in the future. And please leave me comments and let me know what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, both in terms of production and in terms of my play and my deck building and all that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I will see you guys next time.